Good morning, everyone. It is bright and early. It is currently 6.40 in the morning. I'm about to head to the airport because I am going to San Francisco today, which is so exciting. But I really need to just like talk with you guys for a second about the reasons as to why I'm going to San Francisco. This really is honestly like a full circle moment for me. So the YouTube headquarters is in San Francisco. And as many of you know, I've been posting on YouTube for 13 years now. I have videos back from like 2010. It is absolutely crazy. They are such funny videos. All of them were like scrapbook based when I first started. So my actual first like initial interest on YouTube was always crafting. I had that channel for about five years. I uploaded like every single day throughout high school. Then going to college, I had to move into a dorm. I went to Fitum in Los Angeles and I couldn't bring all my scrapbooking supplies with me. So I was like, you know what? I need a new topic for videos because I always loved making videos. And that new topic was fashion. It kind of coincided with what I was going into in school and I thought it would be something fun to talk about. And I did that for many years and it was my first channel that I actually was able to support myself with. I was able to make just enough money to pay my rent with Marie, which we were living together in a studio apartment at the time together. And now here we are today, a uh, Lone Fox. I started that just a couple years later when I got a side job at West Elm, kind of fell into my love for interior design and I started Lone Fox. And this is just such a full circle moment because I know that was a long story, but I just needed to give you a little background. I'm going to the YouTube headquarters today to teach a creator class. And I am so excited we're gonna be doing like a little DIY on stage just to have YouTube kind of reach out and notice my channel and enjoy the content on it. And of course, all of you watching this is what has made everything possible, of course. So I just wanna thank you all so much. We are going to San Francisco today. That was a little bit of a longer intro, but I thought I would vlog a little bit of the trip because I'm also staying an additional day. I booked my flight like one day later. So Justin and I can go thrifting and antiquing the entire time. So that is what we are gonna be doing on our whole second day. I have to head to the airport. I have stuttered so many times in this intro. It's like 6.52 at the moment and our flight's at 9.30. So let's get going. But I am a little bit sad. I have to leave my bed, which I love so much. My Helix mattress. There's really nothing that compares, honestly. Like whenever I leave my bed, it's not an exciting thing for me, I would say. I'm going to a great hotel though, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But nothing compares to my Helix mattress. In my last bedroom makeover for my roommate Marie, I got her a brand new Helix mattress and her previous mattress is actually a Helix one as well, which we transferred over to the guest room because these mattresses will truly last you a lifetime. However, she did upgrade in size to a queen bed. And the thing I love about Helix is these are premium mattresses shipped conveniently in a box to your doorstep and they're customized to fit your needs, which everything about that is perfection. And what I mean by customized to fit your needs is you can take their sleep quiz online where you can enter your height and other attributes along with your sleeping preference to be paired up with the perfect mattress for your sleep style. I was paired up with the Midnight Lux myself and they also have a 100 day sleep trial which is incredible for anyone that may be a little apprehensive and wants to give it a try which I highly suggest you do so and not to mention free shipping within the US, a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans and financing options as well. There truly is nothing to not like about a Helix mattress and I also have to say they are fiberglass free which you got to watch out for these days because some of them are not. I have them in every room in my home, my bedroom, my roommate's room, my guest room. I love my Helix mattress and I think you would as well. So make sure to visit helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. What are you doing? <laughs> Look how cute this house is! Oh, I just love the colors of this house. 
Look how good the stained glass is as the uh, like door number on the house, 1204. Good morning, everyone. We are in San Francisco. Justin's with me and we decided to stay an additional day in San Francisco so that we can go thrifting and my eyes are like watering because it's pretty windy out at the moment. Thrifting and antiquing and we are at our first location. Here it is. Look how big. This is Urban Ore Echo Park. It is a architectural salvage, vintage and antique furniture place. So we are going to go explore. This is like the biggest one. It's right across the bridge in Berkeley. So if you are curious, it is called Urban Ore. Look how much stuff there is in here. Okay, we thought it was all gonna be architectural salvage. Yeah, this is like, like vintage and antique. antique yeah. A bunch of furniture and decor and art and like tabletop items. Let's look around. This table's so cute. Like a little desk. Love these handles. Such a chunky, cool shape. I need that, yeah, to dry my hair. <laughs> I wish I could bring this back. This is so cute. $28, a circle oak medicine cabinet. Susan. Wow, the blown glass. How much is that one? $50. $50. That is, this in LA would be like $350. They're $40. They're heavy. That's insane. Look so at cool. those. And they have like a hinge here, so they definitely open somehow. Patina brass wood. $10. This black sofa, $65. Someone come get this. It's like postmodern. That's so cute. Look how cute behind these chairs, this little fireplace surround with the tile on it. It's like an iron fireplace surround with the little tiles on either side. Look at that patina, that copper patina. Mm -hmm. All these different colors of toilets. Oh, the brown toilet. All these pedestals are so cool. Oh my gosh, look at all these colored this things. Is like the era of your house. Yeah, you never see these though, these colored sinks anymore. Look at all the colored toilets. Look at that scallopy edge toilet seat. Why do, and there's flowers in it? That's so chic. <laughs> Stop to get a cupcake. This place called James and the Giant Cupcake. We found a couple others. The one on the right, Jack's Antiques, is sadly closed, but it looks like this one on the left, Antiques and Modern, is hopefully open. Okay, so it's closed, of course, but you guys, look. I'm trying to show you this. Look at this sofa. How cool is that? And the chair? Wow. Just found this on the side of the street. Piece of art. On the back of it, it says it's from 83, so if anyone needs this, I wish I could take it, because it's actually kind of cool. It's like a girl looking in a mirror. After a mile and a half journey of walking, we made it to the actual location. This is the showroom. Oh my gosh, look at this chair right here. We're about to go in and check it out. It's all like vintage and mid-century, so more so for inspo. Look how many chairs there are in here. These are all mid-century style chairs. They have such stunning pieces. Oh my gosh, like look at this. I have never seen some of the shapes of these pieces I've just never seen before. Okay, so I asked the price on these chairs, same ones in that window I shared with you guys, but I like the fabric on the other ones more. The pair is 28,000, so that's not an option.
All right, we are at our next location. Stuff, it's called. Vintage Modern Collected. This is actually in San Francisco, so we just took like a 30 minute drive over to Oakland. We are at Stuff, so let's go check it out. Cheesecake yeah. instead of beefcake. <laughs> Ooh, I love. I found what I'm getting. I found what I'm getting. Look at this signed lithograph of horses. So good. Isn't that so good with the colors? Okay, so we're looking for the most expensive item in this booth because twenty five hundred dollars for that. What even is that? This is a booth that had the, the Olympiad of the air. All right, so the most expensive item in this booth is this $9,500 monkey candlestick holder. So if you are in the market, just know it is at Stuff in San Francisco. Okay, so there's another floor. Look at all this art. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love the frame, the top of this frame. It's like ribbon. Look at these hanging face statues. Like, they kind of change as you go around them. So cool, there's one here too. Scalloped lampshade up there. It's so good. Oh, I love this peeled apple art. Cubist style. Saddle mirror. I've never seen one with the these little bronze brass bits at top. That's actually so great. So what is this? Is this a little horn lamp? From France. Look at this little Fran French horn lamp. Oh my gosh. I'm normally not one to buy too much horn items, but if they're already made, I feel like it's vintage, you know? This is great, I have to get this. This is so cool. These over here. Found something else. Look at these little Lily candle holders. I love how organic they are, and there's two of them. One's a little taller than the other one. This nude art is so stunning. It's a print. I love the colors in it. Stopped for some lunch. We went to a place right next door, a vintage store we were just at called Stuff, and it's a really great Roman place. Well, hopefully. It looks so good, though. And they're gluten-free. On this place called Lost Art Salon. They have over 5,000 different types of paintings here. Vintage, new, a ton of options. We are going to check it out. The Lost Art Salon. And that concludes my day of thrifting and antique shopping in San Francisco. I actually just got back um, about an hour ago. It's currently 11.30 at night. And I just started importing some of this footage because I gotta start editing this tomorrow for Sunday's upload. And I hope that I was able to film enough to make a worthwhile video. I ended up only grabbing three items while I was in San Francisco because I mainly only had a little bit of space in my suitcase. So I got that art piece, the horse one that I shared with you guys, the little horn lamp, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with, and those brass calla lily taper holders so i'm happy with everything that i got and i hope that you guys loved this video i have started looking at some of the footage and i think i need to get a new vlog camera i think i've dropped this one too many times to where the stabilizer might be a little wonky in there and lastly just before letting you all go i did want to let you know that i uploaded a bunch of new fall goodies over on the website lonefox.com there are so many cute garlands fall stems wreaths like little picks that you can put in your 
floral arrangements. So if you're gearing up for fall, definitely pop over and check those out. And the last thing is that if you have yet to enter my 1 million subscriber giveaway over on Instagram, make sure to do so. It is live over on my Instagram. I'll pop the photo up right here of the exact picture you could find, but there are so many incredible prizes, over $5,000 of different prizes from some of my favorite brands. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you better do so because we have some lovely giveaways coming up. And yes, I just want to thank you all again so much for making all of this possible, for watching today's video, and for the constant love and support across my platforms. It really does mean the most to me. And also, if you are in the market for a Helix mattress, definitely tap the link at the top of the description box below to check out Helix. It's really a great option. Ships right to your door. It's super simple. But I will catch you all in my next one. Bye, guys.